keep going. So we can also play around a little bit with the bridge of the nose here, get it to dent in a little bit, you know, just kind of mess around with it a little bit. You know, look at your neighbor, see how their face works, right? You know, we have, we're lucky to have people around us so we can just look and see how they look. Next, we're gonna work on the eyes. I tend to build my eyes just like they were part of the human body. So we already have the ocular socket, so we're going to make a ball. Okay. We are going to score that ball really well. Normally we don't want you know, too much solid clay, but we're going to poke into it so we don't have to worry about it exploding, even if it's kind of big. So I've slipped and scored the eye socket and the eyeball. Smush it in there. Don't want to smush it too much because I want to keep that roundness. Okay. And this is where you get the kind of naturalistic look because we're going to make coils to put around the top here for the top lid and around the bottom for the bottom lid. Okay, So rather than just leaving that, which we can do if we like it, we can also uh, start adding more detailed features. Right. So remember, coils are just the snakes. We can make them by rolling them out. Because our eyes aren't really, the lids of our eyes aren't really coils, they're more flat, we can kind of flatten out those coils, right? Uh, if we want it really precise, we can even take a needle tool and kind of cut a nice crisp edge along it, okay? Uh, lids, the, our eyelids are actually surprisingly geometric, meaning that they're, they're very sharp. So we will, as always, add a little slipping, a little scoring, Go all the way around here. We lay it in there. I'm pressing it back against the mug. I'm also pressing it around the eyeball. All right. I can do another layer up here or I can make a smaller piece to kind of fill in just so we get the sense of an eyelid, all right, and that it's stuck really well. So I'm kind of putting it in there and kind of smushing it in with my finger and trying to keep the, the socket too, right? So we get this sense of, of bone structure. Okay. We can take the other piece. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom, right? Same thing. Smush it on there nice, right? We can take our tools, make sure those edges are down there. Remember the the bottom lid is not as big as the top lid, so if we smush it and make it a little thinner, that's just fine. All right, we can always run a line with our tools along it, right? The line will help it look more crisp. But that's kind of the basic nose and eye, right? Um, now for the eyeball itself, we want to add some other features to it, right? Well, uh, at some point, we probably want to put a needle through it just so it'll vent. Uh, we can kind of create uh, the iris by drawing it in, doing this upside down so it's not quite perfect. You just gotta work with me here. Uh, make some lines. We could also attach other pieces of clay at this point. If you wanted a, a ball on top of the ball to get the eye, the pupil to sit out even further, you know, it's kind of up to you and what you want it to look like, right? Um, that is the basic nose and eye. It's really hard to replicate the two sides exactly, and we're actually not even, right? If we hold a mirror up to ourselves uh, and replicate one side exactly, it actually looks a little strange. So it's okay if when you do the other side, it's not perfect, right? It's one of the reasons that expressions are really nice because expressions automatically make the face look different. So maybe uh, this one could be winking, right? Uh, maybe. They are looking surprised and one eye is opening more, right? So it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and skip down to the mouth to show you how to do that before I do the other eye, just so we can kind of keep the demo going. The mouth, uh, again, not too difficult. We use coils. You can also cut it out if you wanted to make a slab and cut it out. Uh, but you just make lip shapes, right? Um, in general, you know, you can look online for lip shapes. Maybe we can have some handouts of lip shapes, but it's uh, kind of the shape of a bow, 
right, for the top lips. We have that little indent at the top, right? And then the bottom lip tends to be a little fuller. Uh, both of them are going to be thinner at the sides, okay? So this is just really, really basic, right? One coil for the bottom, one coil on top, and all I did was press in with, a, with my finger, okay? What we can do from here is figure out where it's gonna fit on the, the vessel, right? We might need to make it a little smaller. Maybe your vessel's really big, maybe get a little bit bigger. We can put teeth in behind it, right? If we wanted teeth, we could do a line of teeth, make you know marks like this, just put it in behind there, okay? But as always, we're going to slip and score. Smush that guy on there really good. Maybe his mouth's turning up in a smile. Yeah, that makes sense. If he's gonna wink, maybe that side goes up a little higher than this one. And again, always, always, always take your tools and really smush the edges in. We want it to stick. If you don't attach it well enough, if you don't smush the edges in, uh, when you fire it, these things will just pop right off, okay? So it needs to be attached really, really well, okay? So now we have the basic eye, nose, mouth. We can put in eyebrows if you want. You know, we can add in other things. Whenever you have something that's thick, like the nostril and the nose here, I like to hide holes that kind of vent it so that it doesn't explode. If you poke holes through the nostrils there, uh, you don't notice it and it, it keeps it from exploding, right? Uh, same thing with the eyeball here, nice little hidden hole, okay? Uh, it, you don't have to worry about it leaking. When this fires, those holes will get even smaller. We're also gonna glaze it. The glaze will essentially patch any of those little holes, okay? 